Next question is from Alana Rizzo. Go ahead. Clayton, a lot of swing and miss early. How pleased are you with your overall performance today? Oh, it was just a great game for the whole team, really. You know, I, I kept us in it uh, long enough there for them to break it open in the fourth or fifth, whatever inning that was. And, um, you know, I was fortunate to make it through that first. You know, I was bouncing my slider like 48 feet and didn't quite make the adjustment until the second inning. So um, fortunate to make it through that. But, you know, really after the first, you know, felt pretty good with everything. And, um, yeah, just a, just a great game all the way around for us. You'll certainly appreciate the run support, and when your position players are up there, you'll take it, certainly. But what goes through your mind as you work through getting back out there after 30 minutes for that sixth inning, and then you go one, two, three? What are you working through when you're sitting in the dugout? Yeah, you know, it's um, – I've over the years trying to figure out different things to do in between innings to stay loose, and I've got a few different things now where if it goes long enough, I can do to keep going. And so, um, you know, that fortune I get back out there in the sixth and have a quick inning there. But, you know, overall, you know, stayed pretty loose through it all. So I felt good with it. Do you scratch your head in amazement at Mookie like we do? Yeah, Mookie's pretty special. Um, I mean, he just, you know, he does things on baseball field that not many people can do. And um, he does it very consistently, which I think separates him from a lot of guys. And, uh, and we got a lot of guys like that, which is crazy. But we got a lot of guys doing special things right now. You know, Belly, obviously. Will with big hits. JT, obviously, what does what he does. Munts, um, Jock, you know, all the way down. It's just uh, C. <laughs> I didn't even say Seager, you know. So it's just like, um, it's just a it's just a special team. It is. Next question is from J.P. Hornstra. Go ahead. Yeah, Clayton, Austin was just on. He was telling us that when you guys spoke after the first inning, that you assured him you'll find the slider, you'll get it back. What gives you that assurance? Like, how do you know in that moment that it's just a matter of time? Well, I don't really have an alternative. You know, it's uh, <laughs> I kind of have to figure it out. So, uh, but I, I had a good idea of what I was doing. Um, and it just, it just took a second for me to kind of figure it out, but um, made the adjustment that I needed to. And um, I threw some better ones there throughout the course of the game. Thank you. Next question is from Tyler Kepner. Go ahead. Go ahead, Tyler. Yeah, all right. Next question is from Stephanie Epstein. Go ahead. Uh, Clayton, what's the most impressive thing you saw Mookie do tonight? Uh, I mean, probably hit a home run. I mean, I think that's probably the, the most impressive thing. But um, like I said before, I think it's just the the base running, um, the consistency of everything that he does, the defense. And so, um, you know, he does some special things like hit homers and take the extra base and things like that. But um, I think the day in, day out consistency of what he does on a baseball field separates him. So you might, you know, you might see one game and um, not really appreciate uh, Mookie to his full potential, but now that we've seen it for a full, well, COVID shortened, but a full season for us, and um, you kind of get to appreciate it on a day in, day out basis now. Next question is from Alden Gonzalez. Go ahead. Hey, Clayton. Um, I know you demand a lot out of yourself, regardless, but has it has it been noticeable to you that on this team, because of the talent that surrounds you, that you don't really have to take on as heavy a burden as you might have in years past? And also, has that been helpful to you? I don't really think about it like that. You know, I, uh, you, we have a job to do as starting pitchers and we get one day out of five to go out and help our team. So, um, it, you know, it doesn't really change my uh, thinking or thought process on that day. But yeah, I mean, when you're on a great team, it makes it easier to have success. You know, like, like I said before, having, you know, six or seven runs there after the fifth inning is awesome. And, uh, you know, that's what our team does, just grinds the other guys out and, um, just, yeah, it's definitely a helpful thing to be on such a great team. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Yeah, Clayton, you've started game one, and I think it's 10 or 11 postseason series now. How much weight can a win in game one carry? I mean, game one's important. You know, it's uh, it's less so, obviously, in a seven game than a five or even three game that we played this year. But um, game one's important, and uh, it's good to get off on that right foot for us and um, but we know that it's just one and obviously, you know, just from our experience in the last series coming back from three, one, that it's not and being down 0 two at some point, it's not, it's not that, uh, 
you know, they can do it just with a win tomorrow. So for us, um, knowing what the Rays have and, uh, you know, they got Blake Snell going tomorrow, who's an unbelievable talent and they didn't really use some of their big horses down in the bullpen. So we know we're in for a tough time tomorrow and um, we'll be ready to go. I'm sure of it. Next question from Derek Gould. Go ahead. Clayton, you've been on a lot of good Dodger teams and a lot of teams that have gotten this far. If this team plays at its best, what does it take to beat you guys? Can another team beat you? I mean, if we play at our best, no. I mean, I don't I don't think um, – I, I think we are the best team. And I think our clubhouse believes that. And so, um, you know, there's going to be certain times where, you know, we get beat and we that happens. But – as a collective group, if everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing and playing the way they're supposed to, I, I don't, I don't see how that can happen. Next question is from Dylan Hernandez. Go ahead. Hey, Clayton. Uh, just kind of wondering after a game like this, um, you know, do you let your mind kind of wander a little bit to like, hey, maybe this is going to be the year, and you know what it's going to be like, uh, you know, in a handful yeah. of days. You know, if you guys close it out, or do you immediately just kind of shut that down and kind of move on to the next game? Yeah, it's hard not to think about, um, you know, winning. It's it's hard not to think about what that might feel like. And um, but I, I think that's what I have to do. I think that's what we have to do as a team is just tomorrow, just constantly keep putting that in your brain tomorrow, win tomorrow, win tomorrow, win tomorrow. And then, you know, you do that three more times, then you can think about it all you want. So um, it, it is hard not to let that creep in. But I know that I'm going to pitch again this series. And um, I know that we got three more games to win, and that starts with tomorrow. Next question is from Andy McCullough. Go ahead. Clayton, at, at this point, like in your career, do you feel a sense of gratitude to be able to play like on this stage with a team this good behind you? Yeah, so much gratitude. I mean, so just so thankful. I mean, it's just it's incredible. You know, I don't think, you know, nothing is deser deserved in this game. You know, you don't you're not, you don't, just because you're here, just because you're on a team, you don't deserve to be a part of anything like this. So uh, it's just, what a, it's just an opportunity, man. It's so special. And um, so, yeah, I guess that answers your question. Yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. Next question is from Jeff Wilson. Go ahead. Clayton, the, the announced attendance tonight was a, just over 11,000. Seems like about 10,900 were cheering for the Dodgers. Did, did you guys feel uh, an advantage? And what, what did you think about the, the support you had from the crowd? Yeah, Dodger fans are, they travel so well. They're everywhere. Um, they always come out. And so um, for as much as a home game as we would have liked it to have been and be a Dodger stadium and have the 56,000 chanting, um, after everything that's gone on this season to have a, you know, 10, 11,000 people in the stands and a good bit of them being Dodger fans is, is pretty cool. And uh, it definitely, definitely helps us to have that type of support for sure. Thanks Clayton.